Imagine a world where two apex predators, massive, powerful, and deadly, roamed the frozen wilderness. One still walks among us today, the other vanished into legend, a predator so powerful it could crush a bison's skull in one bite. A monster from the ice age that hunted mammoths and ruled the frozen wilderness. This was the dire wolf, a beast that makes today's gray wolves look like puppies. And now, science is bringing it back from extinction. But how did the gray wolf, smaller, leaner, outlast this prehistoric killer? The answer lies in an evolutionary battle that lasted millions of years, and what we've just discovered changes everything. Let's rewind the clock, way back before humans walked the Earth. 5.7 million years ago, deep in the prehistoric forests of North America, two wolf lineages took wildly different paths. Gray wolf evolution. The gray wolf, Canis lupus, evolved in the vast landscapes of Eurasia. This was a predator built for endurance, capable of crossing continents. When it finally entered North America about 500,000 years ago, it brought with it an incredible genetic flexibility. Gray wolves could, and did, interbreed with coyotes and early dogs, creating a diverse genetic pool that helped them survive in changing environments. Dire wolf evolution. Meanwhile, the dire wolf, Enochian dirus, was carving its own path exclusively in North America. This wasn't just another wolf, it was a completely separate lineage that had been evolving in isolation for millions of years. DNA evidence shows us something astonishing. Dire wolves were so genetically distinct that even when gray wolves arrived, the two species never interbred. The dire wolf was locked in its own evolutionary path, becoming the ultimate Ice Age specialist. If these two titans ever clashed in the wild, who would win? Let's examine them side by side. Gray Wolf Physique The modern gray wolf is nature's perfect endurance machine, standing about 2.6 to 3 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing between 70 to 110 pounds, it's built for speed and stamina. Its long legs and lean body allow it to chase prey for miles without tiring. The gray wolf's bite force of about 400 newtons is impressive, enough to take down deer and elk, but it's designed more for slicing flesh than crushing bone. This is a predator that wins through persistence and teamwork, wearing down its prey over long distances. Dire wolf physique. Now meet the dire wolf, the heavyweight champion of the canine world. Weighing in at a massive 130 to 150 pounds, it was built like a prehistoric tank. Its body was shorter, stockier, and more muscular than the gray wolf's, with thicker bones and powerful limbs designed for brute strength rather than speed. But the real weapon was its skull, 20% larger than a gray wolf's, with reinforced cheekbones and a bite force of 1-300 newtons. That's stronger than a lion's bite. This was a predator that could crush bones like twigs, making it the ultimate megafauna killer. Their physical differences led to completely different hunting strategies. One specialized for giants, the other adaptable to anything. Gray wolf hunting. The gray wolf is the ultimate generalist hunter. Its pack tactics are legendary, using complex communication and teamwork to take down prey much larger than themselves. Modern gray wolves hunt everything from deer to moose, adapting their strategies based on the terrain and prey. They can chase prey for miles, using their endurance, to exhaust their target. When food is scarce, they'll even eat berries or scavenge. This incredible adaptability is why gray wolves have survived in environments from the Arctic tundra to the deserts of Arabia. Dire Wolf Hunting The dire wolf was nature's perfect megafauna killer. Fossil evidence from the La Brea tar pits shows us how they hunted in large packs overwhelming massive prey like giant bison and ground sloths. Their hunting style was brutal and direct. Get close, clamp down with those bone-crushing jaws, and don't let go. Unlike gray wolves that wear prey down, dire wolves went straight for the kill, 
often starting to feed while their prey was still alive. Their teeth were thicker and more durable than gray wolves, allowing them to crack bones and access nutrient-rich marrow, a crucial adaptation when competing with other Ice Age predators like saber-toothed cats. Right now, in high-security labs around the world, something extraordinary is happening. Science is bringing the dire wolf back from extinction. Gray Wolf's Genetic Legacy The Gray Wolf's DNA has become the blueprint for this ambitious project. Scientists are using gray wolves because they're the closest living relatives to dire wolves, sharing about 99% of their genetic code. This makes them the perfect starting point for genetic engineering. Modern gray wolves already carry some of the ancient traits that made their ancestors successful, and scientists believe they can turn on these dormant genes to recreate a dire wolf-like creature. Dire Wolf De-Extinction Using CRISPR gene editing technology, scientists at Colossal Biosciences have identified 20 key genes that differentiate dire wolves from gray wolves. By modifying these genes in gray wolf embryos, they've created the first dire wolf-like wolves in 12,000 years. These animals, named Romulus, Remus, and Kessie, have thicker bones, broader skulls, and more muscular builds than typical gray wolves. While they're not 100% dire wolves, they represent the first successful step toward the extinction. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, there's no question, the dire wolf would dominate. Its sheer size, brute strength, and bone-crushing bite make it the undisputed heavyweight champion of the Ice Age. But in the long game of survival, the gray wolf is the true victor. It outsmarted extinction. It adapted. It conquered. Now, as science stands on the brink of bringing the dire wolf back, we're left with profound questions. Should we resurrect this prehistoric predator? What would it mean for our ecosystems? And most importantly, are we ready to share our world with the monster that once ruled the Ice Age? What do you think? Should we bring back the dire wolf? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing animal showdowns.